we're trying to simulate in a very conceptual way the way the real artist would draw a portrait where the artist looks at the subject and then makes a few scribbles on paper and then the brain of the artist basically compares between the progression of the drawing to the subject. The result of this comparison is basically what is left to draw in order to finish the drawing. All right. All right. Yeah. When Neart is working, there's two groups of people that are looking at the same thing from a different point of view. There's a scientist in Atlanta, Potter and Doug, that are trying to figure out how neurons behave in culture. What are the, can we identify what is the network properties? And Neart, in a way, helps them to look at that because it's an, yet another way of interfacing to their neurons. Although I'm very much interested in the science, and the more I work with Potter and Doug, the more I'm sucked into the science, my aim here is not to collect data. My aim here is more to look at the cultural experiment. We also are also interested in the more philosophical questions that Mayart poses. For example, what is the basis of creativity? So, for any art project uh, that a human is creating, you have to ask where does the idea come from or what is what serves as the inspiration how does this thing evolve over time we have reduced the artist down to something very simple only a few tens of thousands of brain cells growing in a dish connected up to a fairly simple robot by doing that we can study very fundamental mechanisms of creativity and say is this semi-living artist something that consists of part of cultured neurons, part of a robotic device, is this thing capable of creative output? I was in Israel and then I moved here about 15 years ago. So, and then I had to make a decision what I want want to study. So I suppose I was looking at the closest thing to working in three-dimensional mediums, and I studied industrial design or product design. One of the the major artists I was looking at was Delac. And interestingly enough, he was the one who then told me about the fact that people over here in the School of Anatomy and Human Biology, there is one scientist in particular called Miranda Grounds, was interested in working with artists. So that's really how the connection was made with the school. She liked the idea that uh, someone coming from the outside, from an artistic or a design background, has an interest in those technologies. Miranda was able to invite us to come and work initially in someone else's laboratory because her, her laboratory was being renovated and she was very very interested in this whole notion of uh, growing tissues in three dimension so she hooked us up with uh, this guy that was developing the first artificial cornea and that was done in the Lion's Eye Institute uh, over in the Charles Gardner's hospital so with the recommendation from Miranda we actually were able to United Mosef were able to go and start working uh, over there and we got a crash course in tissue culture. Mm -hmm. 